Hi, Tim Vandergrift here. I just wanted to do a short video today to show you something that I've been working on. Now that it's fall, as you can tell by the overcast gray day where I live, uh, there's time to make lager beers. We've got access to all outdoors, it's nice and chilly out here, that's great. Now that's actually only great if you have an area where the temperature is fairly stable. Uh, I live in a rainforest and we get quite the temperature fluctuations throughout the day. I do however have a corner out of the sun uh, next to a wall which should be fairly stable but it still may have too much variation and my lager yeast might get confused and I could get off flavors or incomplete fermentation or things like that. Now I don't have room in my place for a fermentation cabinet. I've already got a keyser, uh, hundreds of square feet of equipment and supplies crammed everywhere, and the fermentation cabinet would lead to all sorts of repercussions such as me having to move out and find a new place to live. Uh, so rather than do that, what I've come up with is kind of a gim crack thingy, but it works. I do this every year, and here's what I do. I have a large primary fermenter, uh, and I've wrapped it in a Thermostar heat wrap. And I've also got my Thermostar controller and my long probe. And I'm gonna fill this with cold water, put in my probe, attach it to my heat wrap, and set it as a heater. And I'm gonna set it for about 52 degrees, which is the range for the lager yeast that I'm using. Then I'm going to put my beer, my wort, into this keg. And then I'm going to do something a little bit tricky. I'm gonna attach a spunding valve. Now a spunding valve is a one-way pressure release valve. Uh, it kind of works like the pressure valve on top of the corny keg, except that it is very well calibrated and very sensitive. So as the beer ferments, you can adjust it and it will ferment under pressure. This does a couple of things. Uh, it produces very clean fermentations uh, and it also acts like an airlock. And I'm going to actually put my beer into a double-sized uh, a 10 gallon corny keg that I have in order to give it enough room to foam up in there. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. It's not a very vigorous yeast, it's lager. So when I do that, I will plug all this in, put my keg in, fill it with cold water, let it stabilize, pitch my yeast, and voila, for almost nothing, I've got a fermentation chamber that will keep the temperature very stable because the water around it will act as a thermal mass along with the wort inside the um, the big corny keg and it's out of materials I had on hand and I don't have to get another large piece of equipment that would take up more space and time. Anyway, I just thought I'd show that off today and uh, let me know if you have any cool pieces of equipment that you've gimcracked together that actually kind of work. Thanks and happy fermenting. <laughs>